So this is my Huina 1583, or what is it? 73, 1573, with a WPL B16 base, full metal. I got the full metal kit for it. So basically running it off a six channel Dumbo RC remote. Got a two speed gearbox in it. So I think it's on low right now. It's on low. Not too bad. It's pretty fun. I haven't figured out the uh, dumping mechanism yet. I'm working on that. I'll take it apart after and I'll show you pictures of what I did there. It's got a, I think it's got a Hobby King, Hobby Wing, whatever, 1625. I put in there temporarily. Channel three is the high and low. There's the high. Oop, we're in the ditch. We're not stripping once in a while. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Here we go. Whee! I have a 7.4 volt battery I got from my uh, WL Toys 12120 whatever it is there 018 got a little doom buggy I'm using that battery pack which is under the cab right now it's high bring it down the low there's no gear yeah it goes good there we go climbs up there pretty good you'd be surprised pretty steep up there uh, the steering servo I'm using is from my uh, TRX4. For some reason, it got weak over time, I guess from crawling too much. So I bought a uh, stronger servo for it. But strong enough for this. Okay. Not too bad, it's pretty strong. That's pretty much it. Uh, I have a 3D printer, I made some stuff off of it. This pretty much made off a 3D printer. With the base there. So I'll take it all apart after when I go back in and I'll show you guys what I did. So, yep, yeah. yeah, the 1573 out of the box didn't cut it for me, so I saw a couple guys on the YouTube. Look at that suspension, eh? Rear suspension. Check that out. Freaking nice. I still gotta figure out the dump mechanism. It's on a floppy right now. Modified it to go higher originally with the original. What it is, I ground some uh, plastic off the back here. And I made extra arms. I made arms to go make it tilt more. The tilt angle sucked out of the box. But uh, no, that's it. So right now it's snowing. Here in beautiful eastern Canada, Ontario. That's fun. I like it. I wish I had it earlier on my 1593 excavator and I bought a 1583 loader. Loader's fun. We need some mods, but it's fine the way it is. There you have it. Let's go to high gear. That won't even go. Okay. Ah, see. There we go. Yeah, we have to fix that. There we go. Oh yeah, I also uh, 3D printed a Mercedes-Benz logo on the front and I put some aluminum foil with some glue, let it stick and then I took my X-Acto knife and I cut it out. See the Mercedes-Benz there? Yeah, so pretty much what I did. I'll take some pictures and add it up to the video. Alright, so I don't know how the lighting is. It's pretty crappy up there. So that's it. Take this off. Smudge it up. Take the front cover off. The Mercedes logo. Ain't that pretty. Alright, so I'm gonna snap this off. Yeah, everything's in there temporarily. I didn't tie anything down there permanently, so hold on.
Receiver, Dumbo RC, here's the quick run 1620. Jesus, bad camera, sorry. 1625, 2S, 3S, brushed. Here's the original gearbox, two speed. And there you go. I made this 3D printed. I was going to make something in this sort of fashion using one of these actuators to 12 volt actuators to push this backslide this back and forth like the original and then have things come push it up might change that so, yeah. so you have it so this is 3d printed that's 3d printed the base for the cab is 3d printed right there you can't see it. So 3D printed that. There's a servo for the uh, servo sandwiched in there. So it slides around for you, for you but uh, it's not going anywhere. See? Wait. It's not going anywhere for the size of the truck. It's fine. So there you have it. So all I'm, all I gotta work on is the tilting mechanism to tilt the tilt the bucket, and then uh, we're all good. There you have it.